Hello the kids, that is I, Strike Hat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we just made our ways into a building. Uh, seems the super mutant's having a bit of a breakdown. And there's something over here that'll keep me from getting next to him. That's pretty much right next to the thing. So, need to find wherever that is. And that requires a key, great. Well, the only way I'm going to find out is by running around, so... Oh! I'll be good this okay. Time. I promise, Master. Just keep him away. Keep him away. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking about? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. He, he does seem to be having quite a mental breakdown, though. So I'm not going to bother him if I can avoid it. Uh, take all of this. All of this is useful. Thank you. Take that. That. Not so much. Electronic hot plate. I can make some more, uh... Well, some more. I haven't done anything with them. Make some poison from the look of it. Cloud kiss lethal. Requires some Abraxo cleaner, but I can do that. Uh, ghost sight. Can I see, like, the ghosts, then? See in the darkest of places? Is that what it's saying? Because if so, that does sound like a nice little perk. I'm going to make seven of those. There we go. And if I can actually make a poison, that'll do something. Uh, I might make two of the potent ones. Because those, in the long run, ooh, I'll take that. And true police stories. Thank you. Got a cosmic knife there. Uh, nothing else really useful here. Huh. We got in the refrigerator. Dandy boy apples and wine. Hells to the, uh, refrigerator. Vodka! Hey, step away from my vodka. Door to villa. That's not what we need right now. I do want this. Yes! All good shit. All right. So it seems we have to go down here if we want to get to the contraband room. Okay. Now we need to find where it's going to be. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. That's good. Where is another one? Another has to be something. I'm pretty sure there has to be another one. Uh, no. Just a bunch of chips. What we got here? Weapon repair kit. Oh, yes, I'm glad I found that. Just on the off chance I can't make one on my own. Ho, 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 ho. Jackpot. Scotch. Whiskey. Uh, vodka. And absinthe. Holy tits. That is the best combination ever. Someone was gonna have a fun time in the holding cell. Well, that particular holding cell. Fuck it. Eddie. Okay. There we go. Now I got it. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That was weird. It spawned two of them. Also, your arm came off. Probably not the best thing. Don't know what happened to you, but sorry. La Fontana. I think that was what it is. Uh, rounds and binoculars. I do not need the binoculars. My eyesight's pretty good as it stands. Okay, yeah, you... You were not happy. I can tell that much. Uh, yep, that's not gonna work. Is there a bed in here I can sleep on? Yeah, this. Uh, no, actually. It's not gonna let me sleep on this one. Well then, it sucks. I'll just forget all of this. Wait, was there something on the desk that I missed? Nope, not really. Okay to head downwards now. We plan to get to the contraband room. Yeah, the station basement. That'll work. Oh, shoulder just cracked. Sorry, folks. <laughs> if you could hear that. All right. Knew you would come below the cage. Down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. So A you're the illiterate farther. one? Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock 
lock him up. He keeps disobeying me. Okay. Fair enough. Let me just read this first. God is watching. Okay. That. Oh, there's something. Uh, where is it? I can't see it. I can't see it. And I can't see it. it. Makes me nervous. Okay. Let me read this terminal. And it won't beep while I'm in the middle of this, so that's good. Vending machine installation. Oversaw the street side vending machines installation today, all working mostly because the casino crew was running the show. Finally complained to the chief about the machines. They feel like a company store. We only get a few casino chips with the paycheck, so we barely buy anything. Chief says he's not sure if the chips were Sinclair's ideas, only if we had any problems with the machines, let him know immediately. Okay, search and seizure. After another discussion with the Puesta del Sol crew, told Chief it'd be difficult to enforce the prohibition list, let alone, let alone the searches. Chief had the gala on his brain, said Sinclair put construction of the villa more important than patting down the construction crews for liquor and chems, as long as they didn't hurt anyone or each other. Got a little hot under the collar, Chief did too. Told me to walk it off. Uh, this whole thing stinks. Chief's barely got time for me. Now Sinclair's turning a blind eye for two things in the villa because his friend's running the show. Ah, my brain is collapsing. I couldn't read that right. No more parking tickets. Well, okay. One good thing about this assignment, no more writing parking tickets. Sinclair's laid out the street so narrow, cars can't even come into the villa. Resources being what they are, he may not want folks to waste gas coming here. Cuts down on traffic noise, too. Chief says it's more than that. Says Sinclair wanted the villa to be reclusive. Long as I don't work, as long as I don't have to worry about double parking snobs or Christless gas hogs clogging the villa, I could care less. Wonder how he expects folks to get here, though. Seems extreme, even for privacy. Well, a little bit, but, you know, some people are a little more worried about privacy than the rest of us. Okay, I'm gonna grab what's in that. I can get it to point there. There we go. Uh, the over here. Something over this direction. May not be in this room, even. That's a little uh, disconcerting. Oh, well. Anything here? Junk food. Metal spoons, useless. What we got here? junk food a bunch of junk food a whole bunch of junk food okay open this up there we are what do we got going on here at this point I'm just having my ears trained for the beep that's all I can do a bunch of scotch hell yeah and a bunch of whiskey buff out okay deal with that. Braxo Cleaner can definitely use that. Basically it makes the uh, Cloud Kiss Lethal I made it, or was it potent? Made those pretty much free for me, which is nice. Got all of that. I'm still well aware I'm crippled, game. Please stop reminding me. My tool cabinet's empty. Only got brooms there, and that's useless to me. What we got in here? Sierra Madre chip, better than nothing. Yeah. Take those, because those are useful. Still, I guess. A tin can, empty whiskey bottle. Well, someone had fun. Alrighty. Let's see if we can make our way down a little further. Just making sure I'm not missing anything along the way. Because I don't want you guys yelling at me that I missed something when I could have easily seen it. There we go. Got a whole bunch of chips there. What do we got? Okay, that's, that's what it is. There on the table. The disc. My voice. Can't take okay. any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch Dog. Use him to drag others here. Okay. Now I'll use you and that pip boy you're wearing. How you're do you know? Smart, clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. 
Okay. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. Very cryptic. I'm, suppo I'm supposed to take this to Dog, whoever the FEV reject is, and then you will be able to talk to me? How's that work? Oh, pack. Use those. Sell those back to the machines. Take those. Thank you. I will take this. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I guess I found what I needed to find. Guess. A little annoying I didn't find the contraband room. Considering that's the one thing I was looking for. Ah. Oh, whatever. I'll find it eventually. I'm sure. Okay, there we go. <sighs> or it might have been I was just looking in the wrong places. Okay. So I'll just let dog sit for a little bit. While I'm trying to figure out where the contraband room is. Because that is my one and only worry here. Trying to get that. So I have a feeling that we'll have things I need. That's not going to work. Okay. Contraband room. Contraband room. These are the bathrooms. That's less useful to me. Okay. This is the contraband room. Doesn't feel like a contraband room. Okay. Alrighty. I have no idea where it is. Did you say the contraband room was downstairs or upstairs? God helps those who help themselves. Okay, Christian buddy. Whatever you say. Yeah, evangelical Christian. Whatever. Whatever you say. I, I believe you. Oh. Oh, it's in here. I need my science skill. Damn it. Oh, tits. Okay. How close am I to the next level? How close? Uh, 4,000 XP away. Shit. Okay. So hungry. You're hungry, huh? Well, apparently this is supposed to help you in some way. At least help me. Uh, holotape, holotape. Where's that? Would that, that be in data? That's right. Uh, dog command tape. Dog, back in what the cage. Have we here? You what? weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Uh, still, even uh, if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Uh, or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. Uh, the name carved in your chest. Are you dog? The carving's a reminder for mirrors and for dog. Dog, who you heard coming in, howling and hungry, as always. Okay. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. Yeah. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Yeah. Now, I want to know why. Then Super Mutant's brain damage is usually the result of prolonged stealth boy usage. Well, apparently I know that right offhand, so go ahead. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Okay. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. Well, yeah. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog. From clever humans. Like you. Do you okay. see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. Oh, yeah, I see he that. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. 
To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> okay. He cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog Fair is enough. the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. I was looking for someone with a collar like mine. Where is your collar? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... Eager that way. I'd say. Now the collar's a part of me. Oh. Inside. I can feel its oh. electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. That doesn't feel It was good, cold and sure. heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again. Tugging like a leash. Interesting. All right. If it's active, I didn't switch it on. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. Okay, you see the one around my neck, right? You see the one around my neck, right? That If it's around my neck, why would I be the owner? Huh? Maybe you shouldn't go around shoving old world tech in your stomach. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. Fair enough. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. You're right, but rude. Really? Question my intelligence like that. But how the hell did you or... Whoever eat one of those things. They detach. When segmented, oh. they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red, dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Oh, okay. dog can't help himself. Hungry, greedy. So like most dogs. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. I had other questions. Of course you do. Yeah. And so do I. And I can't blame you. So you wouldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key to let you out. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. Okay. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up, so he and I can talk. Okay. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Fair enough. If you have the key in there, the old man can order the dog to open the cage. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? Well, I can play his voice, yeah. I have an audio log from him and my pit boy. You don't play it. Okay. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... Okay, that's a little unneeded. Calm down, follow me willingly, I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did... You won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. Wow! You're a sadistic motherfucker! I'm not saying you don't have reason to be, but holy shit, that was so detailed. Uh, commentator's note, I usually get that detailed when I'm joking around, but that I didn't 
that didn't feel like joking. <laughs> I have the power to let Dog out of his cage. I'm going to prove it by not doing it. I can't convince you I'm not here for the Sierra Madre or the old man, so I'll prove it. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. Sounds like it. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. Mm-hmm. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. Okay. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. Okay. What do you mean? The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. Okay. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, Disintegrate it if you can. All right. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. Even if Dog is more helpful, we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Well, maybe. Yet, you came this far, and I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Sounds good. Uh, meet me over at the fountain. We'll plan our next move. Very well. To the fountain and its ghost, then. Sounds good to me. All right. Well, he's busting ass on his way out. Holy shit, I definitely need to find a key to get into here, because holy shit. Okay. I'm definitely going to be coming back here, if only to get into this fucking thing. I have several rounds for the uh, pistol, so that's nice. I have a couple rounds for the uh, 9mm, which is, eh, it's okay. It's a good backup should things go south. And I have a caravan shotgun. Which will be coming in very handy, I'm sure. But, as it stands, I should end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. I stumbled there. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.